Even as the diplomatic relations between New Delhi and Ottawa has soured, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau continues to show support for what India believes to be pro-Khalistan elements in his country. This has naturally irked the Indian side as it has time and again asked Canada to rein in anti-India elements in the country. The latest flashpoint between the two sides emerged after Trudeau attended a Khalsa Day event in Toronto. Pro-Khalistan slogans were raised during the event. Addressing the Sikh community at the event, Trudeau vowed to protect the rights and freedom of the Sikh community in the country. That one of Canada's greatest strengths is its diversity. We are strong not in spite of our differences, but because of our differences. But even as we look at these differences, we have to remember and get reminded on days such as this and every day that sick values are Canadian values. Truth, justice, openness, compassion, service, human rights. These are the values at the heart of Sikhism. These are the heart values at the heart of Sikh Canadian communities. To the nearly 800,000 Canadians of Sikh heritage across this country, we will always be there to protect your rights and your freedoms, and we will always defend your community against hatred and discrimination. Trudeau's speech was lauded by the Sikh community. However, what triggered a fresh row was his comments on the sidelines of the event on the killing of Khalistan leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar. Trudeau said that the killing of Nijjar in British Columbia in June last year created a problem with his country's relations with India and that he cannot ignore it. At the event, a huge banner calling India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar as Nijjar's killers was displayed. Over the past several months, India and Canada have traded barbs over the Nijjar killing. It started after Trudeau alleged involvement of Indian officials in the murder of Nijjar, a claim that India rejected outright. Following Trudeau's latest remark, New Delhi summoned the Canadian Deputy High Commissioner and lodged a strong protest with him over raising of pro-Khalistan slogans at the event. The Indian government further said that Trudeau's remarks not only impact the bilateral relations but also encourage a climate of violence and criminality in Canada to the detriment of its own citizens. In our view, Prime Minister Trudeau's remarks, uh, he has made those remarks earlier as well, so they are not, it's nothing new. Uh, his remarks to us it illustrates once again the kind of political space that has been given in the country, in Canada, to separatism, to extremism and violence. Trudeau has claimed that he got the evidence of India's involvement in the Niger case from a fellow member of the Five Eyes Alliance, an intelligence group comprising the US, UK, Canada, New Zealand and Australia. However, Canada is yet to provide any concrete proof of the claims to India.